So here's the next problem. This is actually, these problems are called squaring. That's a traditional word. Squaring means finding the area or finding the volume. So you use the word square as a synonym for finding the area. So the next thing we're going to square is a rectangle. That's, that's actually interesting and a puzzle of sorts. So if you have a rectangle, let's just say it's A, it's A, sides A and B. And so by squaring, I mean, tell me the area. That's silly, that's AB, right? We agree enough on what area means to agree that it's AB. I don't want to go into those details, it's AB. But now suppose we're in ancient Greece and we want to square this rectangle, which is draw a square that has the same area as this rectangle. And there we actually have enough to do this. Just imagine that this is a giant plot of land and you just can't take a measurement. And if you did take a measurement, it would just take too long to calculate or something. Let's put, I'm just trying to put limitations on ourselves so that uh, we're limited to pure, pure methods of geometry. How would you construct a square uh, that has the same area as this rectangle? Yeah, the height of a right triangle. Huh? That's pretty. That inspires you to then do other things. You'll say, what else can we do? So here's what I would do. Here, I would draw A. That's about right. Then next to it, I would draw B. So this is A. This is B. And remember, what I aim for is a right triangle where the height lands here. That's what we want. So I would go and draw the height. Whoa. And now I just have to find the point where if I completed the triangle, it would be a right angle. So that's another little mini challenge. But we know the answer to that as well. We know that the center of the circumscribed circle lies right in the middle here. So I would take the size, divide it in half. Great question, how do you divide a segment in half? But it's something you can do. Uh, I don't want to get distracted by that. That's easy, but not hard at all. <laughs> it's easy, but we don't need to get into that at all. And then I would just draw a circle where this is the center and this is the radius. And it would be a circle. Let's not rush and draw a good circle. Semi, right. Like that. Not great, but you get the idea. And this is my magical point, right? I don't actually need anything else, but if I were to draw these two lines, th that would be a right angle. So this is the height of a right triangle, and we know that square root of AB. Okay? So then I would take that length. This square will have the same area as this rectangle. Is it as nice, the silly things that we've discussed? Silly, not silly. Very serious, but simple things that we've talked about until now, we can now square a rectangle. And it's fun, it's non-trivial, right? It's just, it's a little bit of a puzzle. It's a puzzle that has a very pretty solution. Elegance, I would say, the way we put everything together is quite elegant. So what's the next shape you want to square? I would say the triangle. So this is where you start building on what you've already accomplished, that's easy. Right, as the base doesn't have to be horizontal, there is no horizon here. So that's not hard. Then I would divide, now that I have that rectangle, I would divide that rectangle in half. Anyway, we know that the area of the triangle is half the area of the rectangle, sorry. I just, yeah, so I would divide it in half, and now I just have to square this rectangle and we know how to do that. So any triangle we can square, and by square I really mean find the volume, but by these limited means. Okay, great. Now let me ask you the next question, to which all of you will know the answer, but can you explain that answer to a certain standard? It's kind of unfair for me to ask you these questions because I don't tell you what the starting point is. So the whole point of our asking these questions is to find the common starting point. First, I'll ask you a silly question. And a square of double the linear size. 
I'm sorry. First of all, it's, it's for babies. Secondly, we already talked about this. How does the area of this square compare to the area of this square? Four times larger, right? What if I asked you to prove it? How would you do it? Prove it. Again, I think you're beginning to get a feel for the standard we're going for, right? How is it clear geometrically? Not, yeah, you would divide it into four, and you'll say, hey, there are four squares here, and each one is as big as this one, so it's four times bigger. And I'm completely satisfied with this. And I'll ask you the same question about circles. We have a circle. Same question about areas. How do you compare the area of this circle to the area of this circle and why? And then I'll challenge your answer.